there's another aspect of resilience that I think is really important to appreciate. And that is, it's not just about surviving, it's about thriving. Several years ago, a friend of mine decided that he was going to hike in the Andes. And he was smart, even though he was already a fit guy, he went through a conditioning program. And he would, he would put you know, bricks in his backpack and really challenge himself physically because he knew how rigorous it was going to be. And because he put in the effort to engage in that conditioning program, he had enough energy and vitality to be hiking in those high elevations. If you've ever tried to hike in high elevations, that's pretty tough. Forget the hiking part, just the trying to breathe part is hard. Because he got himself at a, a level of conditioning that allowed him to deal with the challenges of this adventure, he had enough energy and vitality to enjoy the camaraderie of being with his friends and enough energy and vitality to enjoy the incredible scenery. And I, I see that as one of the big other differences that resilience makes in our lives, that we're able to have a lot more energy so we're able to enjoy this journey. All our energy isn't just focused on dealing day to day. So I share those sort of what's in it for you uh, stories because to truly develop resilience does take work. And today is just the beginning of hopefully for many of you an ongoing practice for increasing your resilience. And you won't do that practice unless you really believe it'll make a difference. <laughs>